Meryl Dubro, CEO of Mark Research. I'm a 35 plus year veteran of the research and insights community and the host of our podcast on the mark. Welcome to another Merrillism segment. Today's segment is I miss blank, blank, blank. As most of the listeners know, I love sports. I pretty much grew up at Fenway Park with my dad watching my beloved Red Sox. And yes, I used to love going there and eating the food. Actually, the food I ate was always backwards at times. I would start with an ice cream in the first inning, followed by a Fenway Frank, which is a hot dog in the fourth inning, and then finish the night with some popcorn. I never did it in the right order. One of the other things I loved and truly enjoyed was going to the ballpark. I liked watching the end of batting practice. And yes, back in the day, getting autographs. I still have my little black pad with literally a hundred plus Red Sox and opposing player autographs. Guys like Sparky Lyle and George Scott, who was known as the Boomer. Side note, I don't know about you, but I love the name Sparky and Boomer for baseball names. Okay, back to my point. You just really never or actually rarely see players signing autographs in any sports these days. I love the Mavericks as well, as you guys know, but I'd have to think real hard about the last time I saw a Mavericks sign, and I believe it was Boban who was just traded. I know the teams, leagues, and players are being cautious these days because of COVID and the restrictions many are on, but it was the same way prior to COVID. Seeing a player sign or any player sign always brings joys to kids' faces. Their excitement is amazing, and their smile and laugh, to me, is priceless. I know that getting players autographs is big business and some, not all, sell them for a profit, but not everyone does. In fact, I think very few do. In 73, that is 1973, yes, I'm old, and I was a very young lad. I met George Steinbrenner at Fenway Park. And yes, I still cherish the autograph and it brings a huge smile to my face with a wonderful memory every single time I think about it. As ticket prices soar and the competition gets greater for fans' dollars, I hope the leagues find very creative ways to have their players sign autographs again. I know I'm old school and my thoughts might be alone, but I miss the good old days and the joy this brought to my life. Thanks for listening to today's Merrillism. I miss dot, dot, dot. My name is Merrill Dubro. Stay well, be safe, and please, please, Stay in touch.